What's going on YouTube? Username Kite562 here and I have a, another Stephen King book review for you and it's of The Stand Complete Edition. Now, again, like with all my reviews, this is just of my own opinion, my own thoughts of what I thought interesting of what I read, just to document on my channel, so sit back, relax, and listen to what I have to say. Now, The Stand is a story where a super flu virus called Captain Trips is unleashed upon the world and wipes out 99.4% of the world's population. A good chunk of our characters, I mean, there's a slew of them, so I'm not going to name every single one of them on here, but... So, as I s said, this was a... Well, as I'm going to say, this was a really riveting story filled with the brim of a ton of characters. I want to say like 13 to 15 of them. I'll probably, you know, leave something of an amount right here. Somewhere in text as a text transition or whatever. So anyway, let's get on with the review. Now, the stand itself, this version is the complete edition. Complete uncut. It doesn't change anything about the ending, as to my knowledge. So, but I'll read to you the back of the summary. Stephen King's apocalyptic version of a world blasted by plague and tangled in an elemental struggle between good and evil remains as riveting and eerily plausible as when it was first published. A patient escapes from a biological testing facility unknowingly carrying a deadly weapon, a mutated strain of superflu that will wipe out 99% of the world's population within a few weeks. Those who remain are scared, bewildered, and in need of a leader. To emerge, Mother Abigail, the benevolent 108-year-old woman who urges them to build a peaceful community in Boulder, Colorado, and Randall Flagg, the nefarious dark man who delights in chaos and violence. As the dark man and the peaceful woman gather power, the survivors who will have to choose between them and ultimately decide the fate of all humanity. Now, I have to say, this, The Stand has become one of my favorite novels by Mr. King, but I have to say the top one still has to be to me Salem's Lot. <laughs> I do have a review of it on this channel, so please definitely give it a chance. So I have to say one scene early on in within this war book I cannot talk today is between Lloyd Henry and his partner Polk who held up a gas station to get some money from some people, but Pogue accidentally ends up shooting this one black-haired woman right out of her shoes, if I'm remembering correctly. But, again, Lloyd didn't want anyone killed during this, you know, robbery. So, they end up pissing off cowboy dressed customer and he ended up drawing his gun on poke ended up killing poke and it was just an absolutely nutty scene like it really blew my mind as i read it <laughs> so and there were a lot of scenes within this book again it's almost a 1200 page journey for the eyes but it's definitely worth it so what i really love about the stand is how the characters evolve over time like, we have Fran Goldsmith, which, she's a pregnant college student. Her parents didn't want her getting involved with this guy named Jess or Jesse. So, anyway, I thought those moments with Franny and her family of Peter and Clara Goldsmith, her mother and father, that was a really powerful experience. So, it's... Almost all these characters, you really get attached to them, and really, it's just a really phenomenal experience. And definitely, don't read any other books if you intend on wanting to finish The Stand, but if you want to read multiple books alongside The Stand, go right ahead, it's your choice. But I have to say, don't speed run through this book, treat it like a journey. Like for me, the max I could get through in a day is four chapters. Two in the afternoon and two in the evening before I went to bed. And that worked. And this is a 78 chapter story. 
with a lot of characters, a lot of twists and turns, and they just evolve, change, devolve, and the interactions are just so wonderfully written, wonderfully developed, and you really interestingly get to see people's true colors during in a post-apocalyptic world. Like there are some soldiers, some army lieutenants who are running around in this university area that was a safe zone. And then some government officials were saying that there was a vaccine for this super flu, but that turned out to be a lie. And a lot of many, lots of twists and turns within the stand complete edition, but I have to say it's one of King's absolute masterpieces of writing. Again, this is all just my opinion, so. There are, a, as I said, there are a lot of characters within the stand that kind of follow up in pairs within each and every chapter. I mean, you have Larry Underwood and Rita Blackmore, which is one of my favorite pairs. And then you also have Franny Goldsmith, or Francine, and Harry Lauder, or Harold Emery Lauder, so if you want to be specific. <laughs> and it's just really interesting at how those scenes really compile up. I mean, the scene where Franny has to bury her father from dying of the super flu. I mean, first her mother Clara gets it, and it's just a slew of effects. The person becomes sick with a fever, flu, coughing up like blue blood apparently. And it's just a really disturbing take on the flu, but you can't look away. And it's just absolutely mind-blowing. So, now this flu itself is called Captain Trips. So, whenever it infects people, I guess they trip out of their minds. How did they come up with the name, though? I don't know, but, you know. But anyway... As I was continuing, this story gave me a lot of Lord of the Rings kind of vibes. Just like an epic fantasy, like a battle between good versus evil, not just because of the summary said it, but it was just really like when Nick Andros's and the crew start going to Mother Abigail's, and then finally Randall Flagg starts emerging, the Dark Man, the Trash Can Man, all that starts unraveling, it just really expands at how severe this situation is and tries to lead these characters to where they're destined to cross paths or clash. And I have to say, The Stand itself is an absolute gem of a book, so I have to say, the characters, to me, are really amazingly written, so... I have to say, it's a really solid and enjoyable experience. Again, take your time with The Stand. It's a really enjoyable journey. So, anyway, for my final thoughts. So, if you read a few Long King novels, if you've read a few Long King novels before, <laughs> can I talk today? I definitely recommend The Stand. But if it's your first time, Definitely go with this short story collection to get a feel for his writing. I definitely recommend Night Shift and the Skeleton Crew. So, yeah, it's just, as I said, don't rush the stand. Treat it as a journey. So, just get enveloped by the situation. Get attached to the characters. I have to say, the characters that I enjoyed were Franny Goldsmith, Nick Andros, Harold Lauder, and, uh, <laughs> Franny Goldsmith, Nick Andros, Larry Underwood, and Rita Blackmore. There we go. <laughs> oh. Kind of had a brain fart today. But anyway, don't let the size of the stand intimidate you. Just savor every word on the page. So I give Stephen King's The Stand Complete Edition 
a 9 out of 10. This is Kite562 signing out. As always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Leave a like, comment. What was your favorite part about the stand? This is Kite562 signing out. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day, everybody. Later.